Just a few weeks after bringing the Tyne Bridge to a standstill, Extinction Rebellion has landed in Gosforth. About 30 or so protesters have formed a human barrier on the edge of the cycle lane to address issues to do with cycle safety and clean air zones. But it's fair to say there's been a bit of a mixed reaction. 75% of all car journeys are under five miles. So five miles is a, what, a 20 minutes, half hour cycle ride to get to work in the morning. About a hundred cyclists die every year on the roads. Now climate activists say it's making people less likely to ditch their cars in favour of greener travel. Especially in cities like um, Amsterdam and Copenhagen, something like over five, over 50 percent of journeys are made by bike, and that's something that if we could do here, it'd be really, really significant in terms of not only making our cities better places, but also in reducing air pollution and uh, carbon emissions. Do you think you're right on the edge of the road here? Is it not a bit dangerous for you to be there, especially no. with your young son? It's, it, it does carry some risks, yeah, but that's what we want to point out to people. But yeah, indeed, um, this is what cyclists have to put up with all the time. We want the cycle path to be safe. We can't get people to change to cycling um, unless it's safe. Um, unfortunately, we've had a lot of sort of shakes of the head from buses, but I don't think they really understand the message that, in fact, we're fine with buses, especially, of course, if they're electric. But we cannot go on like this with the amount of air pollution that you can taste when you're standing here. Newcastle City Council says it's already declared a climate emergency and will be announcing more initiatives around the issue shortly. But this won't be the last time we see Extinction Rebellion. Sophie Halstein in Gosforth.